Wasi 2017 Novdeg Core Mathematics Question 4 The diagram shows a sector of a circle center P and radius 14 centimeters. If QS is a chord and angle QPR is 60 degrees, calculate correct one decimal place, the area of the shaded region. Take pi is equal to 22 over 7. So let's start this way. The area of the shaded region is a segment. We find the area of sector. Find the area of this sector. Subtract it from the area of the isosceles triangle. So area of segment is equal to area of sector minus area of isosceles triangle. Area of sector is given by theta, which is the central angle over 360 degrees times pi r square minus the area of an isosceles triangle, which is half r square sine theta in this case to the theta is the angle which is the central angle let us substitute theta is 60 so we put 60 for theta and 22 over 7 for pi and the radius is 14 centimeters Let us now evaluate. 14 squared is 196. Then we simplify this. 1 over 6. Sine 60 is 0 0.866. When we evaluate this, we get 102.67 centimeters squared minus 84.87 centimeters squared. And we subtract to get 17.80 and correct to one decimal place as required by the question is 17.8 centimeters squared. If you don't want to go this way, or if you can recall this formula half r square sine theta, then you can also go by this area is theta over 360 and it's pi r squared minus half base times height you know that in this case this is the altitude so we have a right angle triangle here and this line divides the triangle into two congruent shapes so this is 30 degrees Now, we can use trigonometry to calculate the height. Then, you should be smart enough to see that because this is 60 and the base angles must be equal, this will be 60 and this will also be 60. Because the angles are all equal, 60, 60, 60, it means all the sides of this triangle are 14 centimeters each. And this one too is 14. So half of this will be 7. And this will also be 7 centimeters. Now, you can use. 
we substitute the values already we know that we found this to be 102.67 centimeters square substitute the base which is 14 the base of the triangle is 14 then the height we can use trigonometry to find the height so let's say cos 30 cos 30 will be equal to adjacent which is the height here h over the hypotenuse which is 14 so the h will be equal to 14 cos 30 14 cos 30 So we can use the calculator to find this, evaluate this. The 14 cos 30 will be the same as 14 times 0 0.866. So that is how we got our height. We substitute over here. Substitute over here. Good. And we can calculate 14 by 14 is 196. And 0 0.68 0 0.866 that will give you 84.87 and we get the result like the previous one so it is your understanding of the question that matters uh, if you understand the question you'll be able to solve it and every question will be easy for you unless of course you are making certain mistakes but you need to understand the question and be able to solve it. I urge you to like this video, share with your friends, comment. If you don't understand something, then don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so yet. Thanks for watching once again. Now, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So, you just have to click it so that the next upload, see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.